Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we are going to cover Docker. If you are wondering what Docker is and why should I care about it, then stick around. We will cover Docker and why it should be on your list to learn technologies. But first, let's briefly cover Docker and the problem space it is trying to address. Docker automates the deployment of application in lightweight containers and it packages all the dependencies in the containers. So when the application ships, it works across operating systems. We can deploy multiple applications on the same computer running in isolation. So what is a container? Container is a lightweight, standalone, executable package of software that includes everything an application needs to run, such as code, libraries, and any other runtime dependency. On this channel, we have launched various applications using Docker, ranging from Airflow, Airbyte, and MySQL database to name a few. In addition, we have built a custom Docker image for Airflow. Just to give you a flavor, I have few Docker containers running. We have an interactive data visualization app that is built with Streamlit framework, and it's running in a container. It's a fully functional application. And in another container, I have a regular HTML site. We can host our website in Docker containers. Then we have a fully functional Flask application running on another container. We can have applications running on Docker with different frameworks and different operating system without any issue. Prior to Docker, we used virtualization technology to run our applications in isolation that required different frameworks or different operating system. Virtualization allowed us to divide a single computer into multiple virtual machines or VMs. On these virtual computers, we can run different applications requiring different frameworks. Each application runs in isolation, so they won't interfere with one another. On VMs, we can install different operating system. For example, we can run a Linux OS on one VM, and here we can run our Python applications, Flask or Streamlit. On the second VM, we can run our .NET applications on Windows. Each VM runs in isolation without impacting each other. Virtualization was a major breakthrough, and it allowed us to get most out of our hardware. However, virtualization technology has a lot of overhead. We run a hypervisor on top of the host operating system. Furthermore, each VM has its own guest operating system. Therefore, each operating system has its own kernel. This consumes a lot of resources like memory, hard drive space, and CPU. To address these issues, containerization technologies came to the front. Docker is one such technology. Docker eliminates the need of the guest operating system. Instead of the hypervisor, we have a Docker engine. We no longer need multiple kernels for guest operating system. Docker utilizes the host system kernel. Docker virtualizes the application and its dependencies directly on the host operating system. Yet, our applications run in isolated environments called containers. This saves us the hard drive space, RAM, and computing resources. In most work environments, we will encounter Docker or a containerization technology. Therefore, it will be one of the top requirements of the current or future workplaces. We have seen that most of the new applications we assess run on Docker. With Docker, spinning up application is a breeze. We can have an app up and running in minutes. Docker eliminates the dreaded phrase, but it works on my machine as it packages all the dependencies in the container. So when the application goes from development to testing, it bundles all the dependencies. Therefore, it works across environments and machines seamlessly. As we have mentioned, containers are isolated from each other and from the host operating system, which makes them ideal for deploying applications in a predictable and consistent manner regardless of the environment they are running in. This allows developers to build and test their applications on their local machine and then easily deploy them in production without worrying about compatibility issues. 
Another advantage of Docker is that it allows developers to easily share and collaborate on their applications. They can share their containers with other developers or publish them to a registry such as Docker Hub. From Docker Hub, others can easily access and use them. This makes it easy for developers to build upon each other's work and collaborate on projects. Additionally, Docker provides a number of tools and features that makes it easy to manage and deploy applications in containers. It offers a command line interface as well as a web-based graphical user interface for visualizing and managing containers. It has a number of other tools such as Docker Compose, Docker Swarm, and Docker Machine, which helps us define and run containers. Docker is a powerful tool that makes it easy to deploy and manage applications as containers. Its ability to package and distribute applications as container that can run on any platform and the ability to share and collaborate on them makes it a valuable tool for any developer. I think containers are going to be the de facto development environment and this is why you should care to learn Docker. This is all on Docker for now. I hope you enjoyed the session.